you're tuning into my channel and we are going to do a health update. I figured I would do end of the summer update since my kids are back in school, how my summer was, and we just kind of wrap it up, you know? Um, this summer was a weird summer for me mentally. It was, it was draining. It was down. There were some ups, but there were some downs and it was just crazy. So my summer did not start off on the best foot because a lot of shit went down um, in the planet community involving myself. And my depression was very, very low. I try not to let things that strangers say, obsessed people say get to me, but a lot of shit got to me. And my depression medication was not working anymore. It got to a point where it was just not working. I was still taking it because you never want to quit cold turkey. I was still taking it, but it was just not working. So my depression just got worse. I wasn't low enough to the point where I wanted to um, do any self-harm and there will be um, a trigger warning at the beginning of this video. I wasn't to the point where I wanted to do any self-harm or any suicidal attempts, but if I had not made an appointment with my doctor to get some new meds or meds up, probably wouldn't be filming this video. Just to put that out there. Um, about two and a half weeks ago, I made an appointment with my doctor, my psychologist, to get my meds up. I was on the highest dosage for my depression, so I was then put on Abilify. Um, Abilify has been working wonders. Um, it's like a complete 180. The first couple of days that I took it, I was very nauseous. I was sleepy. I was almost like, I cannot take this medication. The third day, I was completely fine. After this, that, those two days, I was completely fine. It's been working. I've had no low moments, which means my anxiety has not been high at all. So meds are working. Meds are working. Um, in other news, I have been working out five days a week. I have. As you guys know, my little girl is broken um, for the whole month of May. And so I got back into it in June and broke again. Uh, it's been working perfectly now. It's been working great. But, um, but you know, I've been working out five days a week. I hate working out, honestly. I really do hate working out, but it's something that I have to do. Um, I gained some weight. It's fine. It'll come off when it wants to come off. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Um, if I do worry about it, then that's when you have stress and everything. Um, right now, I'm a little heavier than I want to be. I think I'm just retaining water. So that's what it is right there. Um, my kids have started back in school. I have a fifth grader and a junior in high school. So it's crazy to think that um, my daughter is 16 and in two years she will be an adult. I, I just find it very crazy to think about. Um, she is back in regular school. I don't know if I mentioned this when my daughter was in independent study. Um, I took her out of school because there was a lot of bullying going on and she was taken to she was taken to the hospital and that's all we get into for that just to let you know that words hurt you know there's a lot of bullying that goes on in the world especially in high schools um she is back in school and school just starts but she is doing very well she was ready to go back to school so she's doing very well and you know talk to your children about how they talk to people and how people should talk to them and to report it if they are offended if they feel hurt by what somebody says um i started recently just recently as in this week that i'm filming this um started taking psychology it is crazy i wanted to start taking psychology because as a person with three mental illnesses i think it's important to understand how the brain works how the body works that way i can better understand what's going on in my brain and I think it's a good idea to understand what goes on with other people, you know. And I've already learned a lot in the few days that I've been doing it. I mean, I've learned a lot. And so it's, it's great. I will be studying tomorrow. I will be studying very, very hard the next week because after that is my midterm. 
and you might be like, well, you just started. Um, but yeah, I am, my plate is full, but it's a good full. I'm glad it's full. Um, what else? Um, I mentioned that my, I had been gaining some weight and I wasn't like, I'm heavier than I want to be. But my self-esteem has been pretty high. You know, I'm on here with some makeup on. This is the second time I wore makeup this week. Pigs must be flying. But I have been feeling pretty good about myself. Um, I've been really diligent on taking care of my skin. As you guys can tell, we got this glow going on. I've been very diligent on taking care of my skin. And... You know, I've been doing my hair a little bit more. I usually just leave it alone, but I've been doing my hair a little bit more. And so that has been just that in the combination of, you know, taking my medication and taking care of my skin. And I've been trying to get up and get dressed as if I were going to work. I heard that helps. And I've been getting up and trying to just get dressed every single day. You may think, you may think like that's normal. Um, but getting dressed and, you know, even if I'm just sitting around the house actually makes me feel better and makes me want to be productive. I don't know what it is about it, but it actually makes me want to be productive. And I've been getting up and just moving around. I, I can be known to just sit at the computer, sit there and do, and just not get up until I have to like go to the bathroom or eat. But I've been making a point just to get up, just to get some blood circulation. And that has helped me feel pretty good. Um trying to think about what else um as the summer ends i'm leaving the bullshit behind me i'm leaving it behind me i don't want to take it into the fall because it, i'm just not here for it um you know in the words of drake nice for what you know i i said this many times to people and you have to protect your mental health and beyonce has also said this the great beyonce said she was talking about in business, you cannot be nice. You can be fair, but being nice does not work. Um, that's how I treat the people here in the YouTube community. Yes, I've made some great friends, but the majority, I, I will be fair, I will be cordial, but being nice to everybody gets you walked over. Um, being nice to everybody gets people running, um, you know, people telling you what you should do, what you should film, um, and then you will try to get accustomed to what people are want you to do. And I'm just not about that life. So if you think I'm mean, that is perfectly fine. Um, but being nice has gotten me, you know, it's gotten me nowhere. Um, also, I mind my business. <laughs> People may not think I mind my business, but I do. I mind my business. I mind my business. I drink water, and I take care of my skin. I I, I joke that when if you do those three things, you'll thrive, and it's been helping me. It's been helping me thrive. You know, I it's been a good summer. You know, um, I got to. I'm still working with Sophisticrate, and um, I've got companies contacting me. I have another company, another a planner company contacting me to review a planner in a few weeks, just because I mind my business. That's all it is. Um, you know, I, I saw a quote. This is like this the randomest video. Um, that said, hustle so hard that your haters will ask you if you are hiring. <laughs> I need that on a shirt. I love that quote. And, you know, it, it is. I 100% I, I believe that to be true. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Um, my, I'm doing pretty well mentally these days and I'm glad that I knew enough to go to the doctor to get some help because most people it's too late or if they're involuntarily put into a hospital so when you're aware that something's not working and you can go to the doctor and get meds that's how you know you're not in, you're not in as bad a place as you think but you're bad enough um, to know that something is not right. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. The National Suicide Hotline is down below. If you or anybody know, if you know of anybody or yourself who is going through a hard time, please just dial that number. And I will see you all next time. Bye.